hold these, you could see double that in six months, triple that in a year. But these shoes are easily going for a thousand plus. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy back with another. <laughs> and hey, guys, I've been seeing all of the good support on the video how to start reselling sneakers. I'm gonna start making videos based on that topic how to start reselling sneakers and how to improve your reselling game and make the most money that you possibly can. Now, when you're first starting off reselling, you don't really know which shoes are the best ones to grab and flip or which ones will obtain their value over time and grow and grow in value gradually. So in today's video, I'm going to teach y'all what are the best shoes to resell and what are the most consistent shoes that consistently gain value over time in gradual periods. You feel me? Make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that like button and subscribe. You feel me? Join the team. You feel me? Let's get right into the video. All right, now you guys should be familiar with this shoe. This is one of the most sought after models ever made. You feel me? The Jordan 1. Now, the reason why I put this shoe first on the list is because of its low risk and high reward, you feel me? Now these shoes only cost $170, and if you do pick the right shoe, I'm not just saying to cop a random Jordan one, you know what I'm saying, a random model, and expect to go up over time, you feel me? You gotta do your research on these shoes if you do wanna make some money off of. You gotta see how the audience is kinda like receiving the shoe and reacting to the shoe, and if the general public doesn't really like the shoe, they're not really gaining a liking to the model or the colorway, it's a no-go. And if I cover to my channel and you see people in the comments saying this shoe's a banger, if I say it's a banger, you know what I'm saying? Don't even listen to me, but if you think it is too, this might be a shoe to go after. Now the low risk of $170 and the high upside I was talking about, the high upside depends solely on the colorway, the hype, and of course the stock numbers. You feel me? Now in my first video, I talked about low stock, high demand equals a banger, you know what I'm saying? I said something to that extent. Same thing applies here. If the shoe high demand, low stock, it's of course gonna be a banger because if you have less and less pairs on the market, that just makes your pair that much more valuable. So if these shoes are low stock and the general public does have a high demand and are one of these shoes like that much more, you see, you know what I mean? Like you see it on Instagram getting posted, posted, you know what I'm saying? It's getting a lot of likes. This might be a shoe to go out. And during this year, Jordan 1s have been very hyped. And Jordan 1 lows are actually coming back in style too because Jordan 1 lows weren't sought after. Not even, I think, a year ago. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't looking at them at least. But I know a year, two years ago, Jordan 1s were like weren't as sought after as they are now. The lows are coming back. Jordan 1s and Jordan 1 lows. Even mids, bro. Mids can make you money. You feel me? Like, if you know which ones to go after, mids can definitely get you paid. So make sure you guys do focus on these models. This is one of the most prominent, consistent, you know what I'm saying, uptrending models that I know. And if you do hold these shoes, if you do get a hype model and hold it for a half a year, you know what I'm saying, even a year, a year and a half, you know what I mean, you're definitely gonna get a nice return the longer you hold, of course. Now, it depends on your money situation because if you don't have the money to hold all these sneakers and you have to get your quick money, you know what I'm saying, I feel you. I like doing quick flips too, but I do have a few pairs in the closet that I'm holding, you know what I mean? is looking nice too. I'm gonna show y'all a pair that I held for a year and I'm gonna tell y'all what I bought it for and what it's at now. But if you do hold these sneakers for at least six months, you could see a 50% ROI and that stands for return on investment. So let's just say you invested $170 oh in this God. shoe and you get a return of $400, you know what I'm saying? That's almost 50% 50, 50 profit because 170 after tax is gonna be like 180 something. So we just go around you feel me? But this could potentially be 50% ROI if you do know what you're doing. And like I said, if you do cop multiple pairs, five, 10 pairs, and you're getting 50% ROI, you know what I mean? Like it, it starts to add up. And for Jordan ones, you typically want to focus on sizes 7.5 to nine and a half or 10. But lately sizes haven't been mattering as much. You know what I'm saying? Like if you do go on some of these shoes and look at the sizes, like it's kind of weird because as where the bigger sizes were going for more, a couple years ago, a year ago, and now it's like all across the board. It's like smaller sizes are going for a lot bigger size. It's just like everywhere. So it really just depends. Make sure you guys do study these shoes before you do buy them. Don't go in blindly and buy a shoe expecting to get money back. Do your research so you can make some shit. All right, guys, now onto the second model, the Yeezy 350 V2. Now, you guys might be saying these shoes are dead, but bro, I'm telling you, these shoes is not dead. They're still very hyped. I'm gonna show y'all a pair of Yeezy 350 V2s that I didn't, I've held for over a year. Well, not, not over a year, it's approaching a year. I bought them around December when they reached 
stack you guys might know what i'm talking about all right guys so here are the easy 350 v2 static blacks you know what i mean and these are the reflective colorway now you guys go go on stock and tell me what these are bro because i've been holding these for a minute not checking nothing but you know what i mean but i got these for retail 220 uh here's the all the code and stuff i don't know it might be flipped but let me pull these up here real quick You know what I'm saying? Stick of the tape, it's still fresh, bro. Dead stuff. Quit playing. You know what I mean? I actually caught three pairs of these. Ended up selling two. And one of them actually got lost. StockX actually lost them. You know what I mean? Well, not StockX, but UPS. I do not mess with UPS no more, bro. If y'all want to hear that story, how my shoes got lost and like I got scammed, basically, let me know in the comments. But these shoes are easily going for a thousand plus. You know what I mean? A thousand plus, but I would have had all three of my pairs easy 3000. You know. Now, easy 350s are very consistent as well, just like Jordan 1s. If they are a decent colorway, they'll never flop. You know what I mean? You'll always get your exact investment at the most part. You know what I'm saying? And maybe just a little bit more. But Yeezys are pretty cheap as well. They're only 220 and they do have a lot of demand if they are very hyped you know what i mean and guys for decent colorways you can see an instant 30 to 50 dollars profit right after like you copy you know what i mean like you know how right after you cop on the site you get the email that they're about to ship to your house and you're trying to get that quick money you're trying to flip them as soon as possible it is possible to do that but you're not going to get the most out of them compared to if you held them like i held my shoes i do recommend holding if you do have the money for it but if you don't you know what i'm saying get them off your back keep your money going but if you do want to sell these right away don't sell them on stock eggs don't sell them on gold because you're just going to be undercut bro. i freaking hate those guys to be undercutting and the price just begins to fall and fall and fall and fall and it hurts everybody else on the market but if you do have a very hyped colorway right after the release you can see easily a hundred to two hundred dollars right off the bat you know what i'm saying if they're very hyped you know what i mean like but like i said if you do hold these you could see double that and six months triple that in a year you know what i mean because they go up over time just like the cloud whites bro these were just sitting at retail on stock x for like months full and i just looked at them yesterday they're freaking up to like 400 or something stupid like i'm like bro if i just would have caught three pairs four pairs off of stock x i could have been making 200 per pair easy 800 easy bro you know what i mean but you know what i'm saying just don't expect the yeezys go up over time like i said hold your pairs you will see a good return now if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you guys do hit the like button subscribe and tell me what shoe are you gonna go after what shoe have you been reselling this whole time that's been profitable for you leave it in the comment section below and also guys follow my instagram it is gonna be the first link in the description so it's gonna be right here so make sure you guys go do that but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys gain something from this video and can use it for your own use and yeah guys uh you know what i'm saying it's your boy man